Hey guys, in this video, basically we will try to compare two different input strings. So we are doing a comparison of the length. Find the longest string. Okay. So first of all, what we will be doing, we will be dragging and dropping some three text boxes. Two will be for the input and the last one is for the output. And there is a button. Now let's focus on how to write the logic rather than how to design it. It is quite easy. Drag and drop. So let's focus on the logic. So here for this find longest string, I will go to the event and I'm going to create a rule. Okay. So here I'll use the if then else. This can be achieved in two different ways. I'm going to teach both the ways. So let's use the simplest one if then else. Here in the if, if you click here, I get a compare option. Let's click on compare. And what I would like to compare, I would like to compare the length of the first input and the length of the second input. For that, click here, type equals to symbol, go to the function, and here you have something called length. Select the length function. Within the open and close parentheses, I'll be writing the value entered in the application. So that is there in the first text value. Okay, this is the first dot value is nothing but I have named the text text box as first, the second text box as second, and the third one I have named it as result. So here I'm using the first text box. So the value there in the first text box, it will calculate the length of it. Now, if the length of the first input is equals to the length of the second, though I'll repeat the same option, I'll go to the function again, length within the open and close parenthesis, I'm going to select the second value. Getting it? So this is understood. Now if they're equal, then I'm going to say set value and I've created a variable called result. I've created a variable called result, the app variable. I'll use that. And here I'm simply passing a sentence saying both the strings, both the input strings, are of equal length okay so i'm passing a message now else what if the length of them is not matching they are not equal then what i'm doing i'm using inside the else i'm using another if then else so this is kind of a nesting if else if like that i'm writing okay so here in the else i'm writing if and i'm saying compare what again the same thing i have to do equals to and then I will use the length function and then I will use the first value. Here I am going to say if it is greater than the second value. So here I am using greater than. Okay. I am using what? Which symbol? Greater than symbol I am using. If length of the first is greater than length of the second. So let's go to the function and select length. And here I am going to select the second input value. Now here if it is greater than, then I would like to print here in the then section. Say, I will say result. So everything, the output I am printing in the result variable only. Okay. Uh, here I am saying um, the first value. Okay. So result will have the first value. So here put a equals to symbol and select the first value. Because first value is greater. Okay, so I'm result is will you know result will contain the first value. Now else else set value the same thing I will repeat. I'm writing result and here I'm saying equals to second value. That means second value is greater. If that is not the first condition is not true, then the output should be the second value. Getting it? So this is how the entire thing has been written. Now let's do one thing. Let's close it. Here in the result, because our output is getting stored in the result, so here in the value binding, I'll utilize the result variable. So our entire logic is now created. Let's do a testing. Okay, so the app is ready. Let me enter. Just for easy understanding, I'm writing Rakesh Kumar and in the second I'm entering Rakesh. Okay. Two different strings have entered. Now I'm going to say find longest string. 
So here it is saying Rakesh Kumar is the longest. What if I am going to remove the space and everything? I am going to type find longest. Both the input strings of equal length. Okay, so it is saying equal length. Now here the length word is not coming properly. So for that you can say style, and you can stretch it. Uh, not this one, sorry. Style of this one, and then stretch it. So that way the entire word would come. Okay, this is one way. But again, I feel this is like writing too many things right too many things of if and else what if i want to minimize it is there a way so let's try that i'm using a set value activity <clears throat> so where the output should go the output should be always be in the result variable fine here i will write a if function equals to look at it how i'm writing i'll use the if uh, function here so if function how it works you will write a condition um, let me open a notepad so that I can show you. Okay, now how the if function works. This is very important. See, if function works like this. So you write if, right? And then in the bracket, first you write a condition greater than, for example, 1 is greater than 0. Then you print 1. If not, print 0. So here, what I am saying. This is the condition. If it is true, then the first value will be printed. If it is false, then the second value will be printed. So this is how a if function works. Now with this knowledge, we'll go back and start writing our condition. Okay, so here let me use a function called length. So here I am using a length function and use open and close parenthesis. Inside that, I'll use the first value. So it will check the length of the first value if it is greater than or equals to length of the second value so let's again use the length function and then within the open and close parenthesis be very careful while you are using this commas and parenthesis and i'll use the second value so here what we have done we have simply written the condition so until here we have just written the condition here now i'll put a comma Okay, after the condition is written, I'll put a comma. Now, instead of writing the output, here also I'll use another if condition. So, how I'll write if condition? After putting a comma, I will go to the function section and here I will select the if and then open and close parenthesis. Inside this if, I'm again using the length function. Okay, so let's use the length function and open and close parenthesis for the length function and I'm going to select first value and here what I'm doing after the first value I'm using is equals to symbol is equals to means double equals to symbol is equals to greater than equals to but it could be equals to right so here in the second one I'm saying length of the first is equals to the length of the second okay I'll minimize this so I'll say uh, length of open and close parenthesis length of the second value now look at the inside if block instead of we writing a direct output here i am writing a condition inside where i am saying length of first if it is equals to length of the second then what you do then put a comma then you type if they are equal then say both the string value length is equal both the string length is equal if not if they are not equal then after this put a comma like we write the if condition right then i want to use the first value if they are not equals to then first value is the output false if this condition is not meant then the output of this is first so here what would happen if let's say rakesh kumar is the longest name so the first is the longest name so what it will do here it will say okay this condition is met greater than or equals to is met so here it is going to print the first value because inside this e block the output of this will become first because equals to is wrong if they are equals to if first and second are both are equal then what would happen here the length of first is equal to length of second so the insider if block is going to give the output both the string length is equal because the first condition is true either greater or equals is true so here the first output will be always be printed let's say if it is small then what would happen i want to print the second value it is actually quite easy just that you have to have little mind uh, you know little focus and concentration 
then you will be able to understand this entire logic. So here I am saying second value. So my logic is created and there is no syntax error. Let me close it. Let's preview it. Okay. If you have still have doubts, please do ping me in the comment section. I will try to reply them. But here the logic is quite simple. So here, first of all, let me enter Rakesh Kumar. Okay. Now look at the logic, how we have written the logic. We'll also compare side by side. Okay. So what would happen here? First, I have entered Rakesh Kumar and here I'm entering what Rakesh. So the first value is the longest one and this is the smallest one. So what would happen as per our condition? Length of first is greater than or equals to length of second. So it is greater than. Okay. Now after that, we'll come to the below one. This condition is met. So if this condition is true, then what would happen? The first value will be printed. If your condition is false, then the second value will be printed. So here, instead of the first value, we have return or if condition here. So it is going to check if the length of the first is equals to length. So here it is false. Now if it is false, after the comma, the second value will be printed. That means uh, I am saying print first. The, you know, this value will be printed. So here it is going to give the result that Rakesh Kumar is the longest name. Okay. For example, if I go back, and simply find longest string it's in Rakesh Kumar if I simply reverse it for example I'm going to remove Rakesh here and I'm going to say Kumar here and if I go to select here it is going to say Rakesh Kumar let me change something like Rajesh Kumar okay so you can see it is saying Rajesh Kumar so in this one how, how it is working first it is saying greater than equals to so this condition itself is entirely false so it will not go to the if condition in the first one right it is not because the second is if it is condition is false then the second it will be printed right the second i'm saying second you print it is printing the second value okay pretty simple logic what if i'm going to uh, make both the values equal for example rakesh and rajesh let's say i'm typing okay so both the string length is equal getting it so this is how this logic can be shortened if you know how to write the if condition but it is a pretty simple one so thank you guys for watching in case you have any questions please do comment in the comment section and if you enjoy this video please do give it a like and share with your friends so thank you we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye